Hello, hello, my name is FBM3, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you why you should stop paying for Color Finale and just start using what's in Final Cut Pro already. So let's roll the intro and then we'll dive straight in. So one of the things I've noticed is that people, every time that they're doing any tutorial about color grading in Final Cut Pro, they always open up Color Finale as if it's like God's gift to color grading and Final Cut Pro users. Color Finale is really cool and it was probably one of the best tools for a while, but Final Cut Pro just made a couple updates maybe six months ago that allow you to really bypass Color Finale for most of your color grading. So let's actually get in and look at a clip that I recently shot for ArtSpeak. It's an arts nonprofit that me and a couple friends started here in Indianapolis. And we'll kind of understand how we can use just the built-in Final Cut Pro software color grading tools to actually color grade everything that we need. You'll notice in here I've got this cute little clip of my buddy Justin Vining and Zach Cooper, two really cool artists, and it's just a little sad looking. But things look pretty balanced, pretty good, but I wanna get in and make it a little bit more contrasted, a little bit more saturated, give me a little bit more color in this beautiful scene. So to do that, I'm gonna go on the top right. If you're not seeing this, there's a little button up here on the top right you can also choose. I'm gonna go up to this little triangle here, and some of you may be seeing this, others may be seeing this color board. I recommend switching from the color board to the color wheels. I think this is one of the best tools, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. To get started, on the left hand side we have saturation, on the right hand side we have our overall exposure. So when I pull this down, you'll notice it's gonna get brighter or darker. All right, I'm gonna press reset on the bottom right, and I wanna put in a little bit more saturation into this scene. So we'll just slide this up and look at their skin tones. Look back there on the back where we got some paint. It just looks a lot prettier. So if I turn that off, turn that on, we can see a pretty huge difference. I wanna make a little bit more contrast happen in here. So what I'm gonna do is use my exposure on the shadows and my exposure on the highlights. So if I pull down the shadows, you'll notice how on the left hand side on my little graphs, it starts to pull those down below. This is a great way if I wanted my black to start at a different point, we can kind of pull this down and you'll notice how it starts to get cut off on the bottom left hand side. I don't really want a lot of contrast or really everything to be kind of crushed into the blacks. So I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. Now my brightness looks pretty good. We got some bright white spots. Maybe I wanna make this scene a little bit brighter. I can just pull this up. We don't wanna to totally cut off the stuff that we have up here at the top. That's gonna to show us whenever we get to 100. It's gonna show us that when we get to 100, it's basically totally cut off. We don't want to do that. We just wanna make it a little brighter. And then I can move these midtones around a little bit to adjust what they actually look like in the midtone. So is it gonna be a little bit darker on their skin, a little bit brighter on their skin? Um, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep that right in the middle. I kinda like that. So a couple other things that you may notice here at the bottom, we have a temperature. So if we wanted this to be a bit warmer, we could slide this over to the right or a bit cooler, we could slide it to the left. I like it the way it was, we'll just reset that. We have a tint, so this allows us to put more magenta or green tones into it. That still looks good, I feel like everything looked really good. We were using, uh, um, we were using aperture lights, so aperture lights are pretty fantastic, giving us some good daylight color, which is why we've got really good lighting on everyone's face. Uh, and then I have hue. So I can move this around to do some weird, like psychedelic, creepy color changes. I'm not really gonna do that. We'll just keep that back to normal. And we've got a pretty nicely color graded scene. Let's see how we can actually throw a LUT using the tools that are already in Final Cut Pro instead of going outside of it to do that. So on the right hand side, I've got some different um, effects and plugins. I'm gonna type in the word LUT, and you'll notice I have a ton of LUTs, but the one that came with Final Cut is called Custom LUT. I'm just gonna drag and drop that on my clip, and then I'm gonna go on the top right hand side back to this little section. This is gonna show us all of the plugins that we have, all the effects that we have. I'm gonna turn off color board. Actually, I'm just gonna delete it. Select it and press the delete button. I don't need that. I've got custom LUT here. 
and it's gonna show me all of the LUTs that I currently use. I can actually choose a custom LUT and choose a folder, but I've got a bunch of LUTs inside this folder, and I'm gonna pull in the M31 LUT. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna choose Rec 709 for that. I know what you're thinking. He's looking a little Trumpy, a little orange. Let's pull down the strength on this a little bit. So with the mix, we can just pull this down to give us a little bit more of a natural look. Yeah, I kind of like that, right around like 40, 35, 40. All right, so it's still looking pretty nice. We've got some nice orange tones to the skin. Things look really pretty. And if we look at what this looks like before, something kind of sad and unsaturated. And if we look at what it looks like now, we've got something much more beautiful. Okay, we learned two things today. We looked at how we can use color wheels to give us more contrast and more saturation to really get our colors from the original footage into something a little bit more beautiful. And then we looked at how we can use custom LUTs to put more stylistic spins on the footage that we just shot. So in the next video, we're gonna look at things like color curves and how we can add more contrast that way, um, hue versus saturation where we can change different color saturations, even change colors to other colors. Thank you guys so much. If you like the video, click the like button at the bottom. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. I've got a lot of content over the next year that I wanna be releasing to everyone. Um, if you have any suggestions for any videos that you wanna learn, uh, any different tools, color grading, um, shooting, any of that stuff, just leave them in the comments below. I'll take a look at those and I'll try and plan what we shoot next um, just to help you. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.